Matt from Practical BI and welcome to another Power BI Time Intelligence Guide. This time we're looking at the parallel period function and how that can help us compare uh, a month to the same month in the previous year and we can use this to create charts that, that give us a rolling 12 months uh, and a rolling 12 month comparison to the previous 12 months as well. Okay so let's dive straight into our report. Okay, so I've got some simple sales data here. I've got month on month sales. You can see from January 2018 down to today in June. So we haven't got a full month for June, but um, I've got a, a chart here that's showing month on month sales uh, for the last 12 calendar months. You can see uh, based on the relative date filter there. And our, our challenge is that we want to be able to show um, the, the same month in the previous year and compare that on, on the bar chart there. And, and we're gonna use the parallel period function to help us do that. Okay, so I'm going to start by creating a, a new measure in my uh, measures table. Um, if you want any more information on creating a measures table or indeed on, on creating a calendar table, which you'll need for this as well, um, then do check out uh, a couple of my other videos that will help talk through those. So let's start by creating our sum of sales measure for 12 months ago. So I'm just going to call this sum of sales last 12 months. And I'm going to say uh, use the calculate function and reference my previous sum of sales measure. And then I'm going to use the parallel period function. You'll notice that there are three parameters required here. So first of all, it's my, my date field in my calendar table. Then it's the number of intervals that I want to look back or forward. Um, so this time we're looking uh, 12 months ago. So I'm going to start by doing minus 12. Um, and then I'm going to specify my interval, which is a month in this case. Uh, just close the brackets there and commit that. Okay, now I'm going to drag that onto my table. Oh, uh, got some odd sales there. Uh, let's just um, uh, rename that, and I'll just change the format as well so that um, it's a bit clearer to see. Okay, so you can see that if I look at the first full month, which is um, May May 2020, I've got uh, 15138 as my um, sales for May in the previous month, and if I look at May uh, 2019, I've got 15138 there for that month. So I can see that that's working as expected. Now let's um, Bring that into our chart. I'm just going to drag that in alongside my current summer sales measure. What you'll see is we've got um, the last 12 calendar months, as I, as I said before, but we've got this time for May 2020, we're also showing in comparison the, the previous year's May sales. So we can see year on year um, uh, by month there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful. If it has, please do like and subscribe. Um, if you have any feedback, questions or, or comments, please do add them to the comments underneath this video. Uh, and I look forward to speaking to you again.